A car jumped a curb in Tryon, hitting a woman. Trade Street had to be shut down for more than an hour today. News 13, Ashley Searles joins us. Ashley, this happened right downtown. It did, and in front of one of Tryon's busiest stores, and that had officials tonight just saying it could have been even worse than it was. We're not real sure if she was walking into Owens Pharmacy or leaving the pharmacy. It's really hard. There were a lot of people here, but not a lot of people that actually saw the incident occur. Around 5 o'clock this evening, with Tryon's Trade Street shut down <laughs> and the car still sitting where it came to rest, officials were trying to piece together what happened about an hour before. Because the way the, the dispatch was given out, we weren't real sure was the person pinned up against the building. Were they under the car? How many people? Owens Pharmacy is probably one of the most heavily patronized places in Trine. First responders arrived to find a woman lying on the sidewalk with apparent head injuries and a car well up onto the curb. We think probably the vehicle at best got a glancing blow on her. We don't think it was a direct impact. The victim was taken to Spartanburg Regional. The driver wasn't treated for injuries. We've had instances in the past where people have maybe inadvertently thought the car was in reverse and it was actually in drive and jumped the curb. We're not sure if that's what happened here. I saw the one lady getting taken off on the stretcher and I had seen two, three seconds of it. Bystanders said tonight it all happened really fast and there's a worry. It has me a little concerned. Could this happen again? Uh, after school, little kids are out here playing a lot and they're all from the elementary school. Now, police have yet to release whether there'll be any charges filed in this incident. The victim's condition at this point has not been released this evening. Tryon officials were already talking about ways to make sure this doesn't happen again downtown.